In this video, I want to talk about simplifying fractions. This is one of the biggest questions I get is how do I know I'm done simplifying? So here's a few quick rules that can help. So the first one is um, when you have a one on top, that means stop. So for example, this fraction has a one on the top. Um, and so I know that I'm done simplifying. The second rule is prime time. So that would mean that when I have a number that's prime on the bottom, I can stop. Um, so a number that's prime is a number that's only divisible by one in itself. Some examples of that are two, three, seven, in this case, 11. Um, there's other prime numbers, but that's a few examples. And the last one is number neighbors. So for this, um, if you have a number line or graph, um, you can look, and this is when numbers are back to back. So the top number would become first on the number line, and then the bottom number would come second. So 14, 15, those are number neighbors on the number line. So this cannot be simplified. So let's look at an example. So I have 14 over 21. Doesn't have a one on top. The bottom number is not prime, and they are not number neighbors. So I have to think, what number could it simplify by? So I always like to tell my students to start with 2, that doesn't work, 3, and go up from there. In this case, it's divisible by 7. So when they divide by 7, they get 2 over 3, and that is number neighbors because when you have a number line, 2 comes before 3. So one more example, this one is 6 over 36. Um, so you might have some students that immediately jump to this is divisible by 6. Um, again, I tell my students to start with 2 just to make numbers that are really large smaller. So they would divide by 2 and end up with 3 over 18. Um, it doesn't meet any of these rules, so I need to check and see if there's another number it could divide by. In this case, it does divide by 3, which gives me 1 over 6. If your students immediately started with 6, they would end with 1 over 6 after one set of division. Um, so these three rules help. They don't fix every single case, but this does help if they're questioning, when do I stop when I'm simplifying fractions?